Welcome to another Hickory Hack. Today I'm sharing my tips for maintaining and repairing the wooden shaft on a Hickory Golf Club. Most of the time that just involves rehydrating and resealing the shaft with linseed oil or shellac, but sometimes it means repairing a crack. And these are nothing to be afraid of. We can actually fix these cracks and make these clubs playable again. If the shaft is crack free, then all you'll need to do is reseal it with either true oil or shellac. And I'll show you how to use both. So the first step is taking some triple zero steel wool and basically roughing up the shaft. Uh, you're cleaning off any residue and you're opening up the grain of the wood so that it can receive either the linseed oil or the shellac. I'll spend a little extra time under the grip because there's usually some residual fibers here that need to be removed. I'll show you how to use the true oil first. This is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, a little bit goes a long way and I'm using a microfiber cloth here to uh, apply it. I'll start down at the cone and basically just work my way all the way up to the grip area. I learned about using True Oil from the Hickory Golf Workshop in Vermont um, and it's worked really well for me. Some people, however, have had bad luck with linseed oil and have reported that their shafts have become brittle or even broken uh, because of it. Uh, that, again, that hasn't happened with me and I like using True Oil. But in the event that you're worried about it, shellac would be the way you'd want to go. Like the True Oil, this is a very easy product to apply. A uh, little goes a long way. And uh, if you really want to make the shaft glossy, you would just repeat the sanding and application process several times until you've got it where you want it. If you're worried about fumes, shellac is definitely better uh, than the True Oil. Uh, but both require good ventilation, and I actually had the door to my workshop open when I was doing this. So like the True Oil, I just did one coat, and I was pretty happy with how it turned out. So now let's look at how we can fix a crack shaft. To do that, I like to use a very fast-flowing super glue, some strapping tape, and a clamp to keep all that together. Uh, this particular club has a very common crack in it, um, you can see my moving the head around reveals it. Uh, so I've taken the club head off, and what I'm doing now is taking toothpicks to keep the crack open so that I can get the super glue in there. Uh, I'll work my way around the crack wherever I can squeeze a toothpick in. And then with the help of the toothpick gaps that you've created, you've got enough space to get the super glue in there and gravity will do the rest for you. If you can get it into the crack, gravity will feed the super glue in and uh, I just work my way all the way around the crack. Any spot that I can see interior wood beneath the crack, I'll put super glue on and I'll try to get the toothpicks out as fast as possible because this is pretty quick setting super glue. I wipe off the excess uh, also notice I'm wearing gloves here because it will stick to your fingers pretty quick. So with the excess off, I'll give it a quick clamp before I put the tape on. And then I'll wrap the tape along the crack. Um, I give myself a little bit of a tab here so that I can take the, ta the tape off easily. And then I'll reapply the clamp over the tape uh, so that the glue doesn't stick to the clamp. And I'll let that sit for about 24 hours. The nice thing about the strapping tape is that it doesn't leave much residue uh, when you take it off and it comes off of the glue really easily. So then I'll test the crack and as you can see it's pretty sound. So all I need to do now is reseal it using the steps from the first part of this video and then use whipping to reinforce it. Here's another common crack that you'll come across. This is actually in the cone of the shaft and stretches about four inches into the shaft. Uh, but that makes this one really easy to fix because you can get the toothpick in there and create a large gap so that the glue is able to flow freely in. And I'll just take my time and make sure I cover all of the interior space of this crack, put the tape on, put the clamp on, and uh, let this sit for 24 hours as well. So now that this shaft is sound again, I'll use steel wool to get rid of the rest of that residue. I'll reseal it and I'll reinforce it with whipping thread, which I'll show you in a future hickory hack. That wraps up this hickory hack. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, please like and subscribe.